Greetings. My name is Tierra Asia Knox, and I have been a student starseed with Liberation Spring for about four years now. I've had the pleasure of building with Anjali and the starseed community. Gaslighting, it, it's a means of making you feel crazy or like you're wrong or like your truth is, is incorrect. And when we're talking about gaslighting the system, I really appreciate Anjali's play on words here because we are uh, taking our power back. We're flipping and reversing it on the systems of oppression that have been designed to control us. Alienation and freedom by Dr. Franz Fanon this was really powerful for me and really helped me think about work and think about my students and what healthy ways of existing in a work environment should look like. One of the most powerful quotes Fanon ends with is, the colonized who resists is right. Meaning that when we are existing in these toxic systems of oppression, the person who does not assimilate to the norms or the mediocrity that is modern status quo society, the person who pushes back, who resists, and maybe even looks crazy, is actually the person who's doing what's supposed to be done because these systems that we are existing in are deeply problematic and we need to do something for our ancestors and the, and the sake of future generations. And then we have the king, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. When he's talking about being proud to be maladjusted, he gets into how uh, of course, it is our want and wish to be well adjusted into society, to be safe, to be secure, to have our needs met. And there are things in this society which he, and I'll speak for myself too, I never intend to conform. There are diseases and ways of showing up collectively that are deeply problematic. He talks about being proud to be maladjusted and that he never attends to assimilate to the norms of a toxic society that ultimately oppress him and his people. One of my favorite things about Liberation Spring and about Anjali is the diversity of materials that are presented to us and the diversity of the lessons and the learning experiences. And like Anjali doesn't just give you the answers, but she provides a safe container for us to uh, really activate our own processes of, of unlearning and seeing the truth really in everything. And we're looking both at like the muck, at the toxicity, and we're also given space to vision and imagine alternatives for the future. Every time that we had a class, I felt like I could go the next day and share with my students about gaslighting and share with them about um, systems of oppression that were accessible for them too. And these are six, seven, eight, nine year olds. So it's really exciting to feel like you can get into this work and actually do something and actually think in ways that you've never thought before. I'm really grateful for the space. I couldn't imagine being anywhere else every Monday night. That's the community that I tune into. I'm going to put my application in right now after I'm done with this video. I just wanted to make sure I reached out and shared the word. All right, peace. Be well.